All right, I'm going to give in this video our third an example of SCO payment. If you're here, you want detail, and I'm going to give you detail. So we're going to go through an example of an SCO payment. Um, it's SCO works in a logical manner, but it takes some steps to calculate the payment, and we're going to go through those in this video. I'm going to do supplemental coverage with RP. So you can obviously get supplemental coverage with YP or RP with high risk price exclusion. We're going to do this with RP because that's what most people get. It is an endorsement to RP policy and here's an important note. The RP policy will provide the preventive planning coverage and payments. So it's an RP policy that does preventive planning. Uh, the preventive planning payment will be a percentage of the per acre guarantee. As we lower the coverage level, we lower the per acre guarantee, and as a result, we lower the coverage level, we will lower the potential preventive planning payment. SCO will make a payment if the county revenue is below 0.86 coverage level, higher projected or harvest price. Again, harvest price is only in there for RP. RP with harvest price exclusion would not include that, times the expected area yield. This value is set for each county by RMA. The map over to the left shows those values for 2019 and corn. I'm going to give an example for Sagamon County. It has a 213.3 bushel expected area yield. Moving on, just a little bit more detail about those yields. SCO used, or when we're making payments from SCO, used its RMA yield data that goes into the calculation. As a result, RMA expected yield, or SCO expected yields vary from those that are used for ARP. ARP is an area risk pan that that is NAS data is used in that so you will see different expected yields 213.3 for Sangamon County for SCO compared to 203.1 for ARP map over to the left gives soybean expected area yields for 2019 those again will vary by year all right I'm going to give a payment example here our farm situation is a 220 APH yield, trend adjusted. We're going to use that to calculate our guarantee. 2019 projected price of $4, and I'm going to assume a 75% coverage level. There is a supplemental coverage range, which ranges from 0.86 to their coverage level, 0.11 in our case. That's the range on which SCO would pay, 0.86 to minus 0.75. Our supplemental protection or the maximum payment under SCO will be the coverage range, 0.11, trend adjusted APH yield, 220 in our case. So this supplemental coverage will vary from farm to farm to farm depending on the trend adjusted APH yield and the higher projected or high risk price. To calculate the supplemental protection, I need to know the harvest price. I'm going to give a situation in which Harvest price is 380 below projected price. So we know in that case the projected price is used in the supplemental protection calculation. 150 county yield. Our supplemental protection will be $97 per acre in this case. That's the maximum payment SCL will make in this case. Two other things that are calculated, expected area revenue, higher projector harvest price times expected yield, $853 in this case. Harvest revenue, $570, harvest price times county yield. I'm using 150 bushel county yield, $570. Those items enter into the indemnity calculation through a payment factor. Here is the formula for the payment factor. And let me give you a little intuition. Let's say this harvest revenue minus expected area revenue is, as a ratio, it's 0.8. That means harvest revenue is 0.8 of area revenue. 
and supplemental SEO will make a payment because it's below 0.86 and it will be 0.06 if it's 0.8 and so then we calculate the percent of supplemental coverage range making payment if that 0.86 minus 0.8 is greater than our supplemental coverage range we get all the payment so it's one this ratio will be a below zero when harvest revenue minus expected area revenue is greater than 0.86 indicating that there's no payment in which case the payment factor is zero in our example we have a the formula results in a 1.81 payment factor since it's above one we use one so then our our payment is one times 0.97 we're going to get the maximum payment 97 dollars per acre we will not know what SEO payments are until spring because we have to calculate, RMA has to calculate the county yields. Those won't know, be known to spring. It's March 12th today when I'm recording this. We don't know what 2018 payments will be or if there are any for 2018. All right, we went through an example of SEO payments here.